Hey folks, welcome back to episode two of our multiplayer Crusade Kings 2 with Aniko. Hello. So hopefully y'all enjoyed episode one. We kind of talked a little bit in between episodes and I realized that since I married Aniko matrilinearly, my heir, any, any kid she gives me will not be my heir and if I die, my game's going to be over. So I need to take a concubine or multiple ones and hopefully that should fix things. So I got a lusty 17 year old here in my court which will do just fine. And uh, ready to get going? Yeah, I've decided to have a son and also I've resigned as commander of the Yarl so I can run my own troops. Yeah, and he's he's asking me if I want to be the, the commander again. Okay. I am I'd ill say... again. Why am I so sickly? I don't know, you should have really high health as well since you have all that martial stuff. We got another guy who's trying to lower tribal organization. So we have our faction, which is fairly strong. Um, but unfortunately, our liege has a lot of allies. So we need to get probably quite a bit stronger before we decide to try to get independence. We're working on the guy from Nirki, or Nirka, or however it's spelled. How do I embark again? Um... Your uh, your dudes, if you select them, there's a little embark, a little kind of arrow point for the ship. Oh, yeah. I have embarked. And yeah, when you have nothing better to do as a uh, as a Norse person, you might as well go... I'm going to raid Hamburg. Land raid. of the Hamburgers. <laughs> and I lost quite a few troops, but I think I'm going to go raiding as well. Lower tribal organization in Svejod. Well, that's not very interesting, is it? No. Although that guy does like me. We might have a chance of getting him on our side if he's uh, if he's already having issues. How do I? How do I? Oh yeah, I I that was a thing that I was gonna do. I was gonna look at who likes me, as opposed to all the people that don't, and maybe get some people in my court. Yeah, so if you want to invite them to your court, they can't be landowners. But you can look in other people's courts for people that don't like their liege and invite them over. Or you can use the character finder, which is in the way, way, way bottom right. Apparently the shortcut for that is period. Yeah, yeah. You can always do that to search. It's hard to get people to come to your court, usually, unless they have a real big beef with their liege. But it's something I enjoy doing. Is it? Is there a bad thing if I invite them and they say no? No. It, actually, I don't think it'll even oh, let it you let invite them unless they'll say yes. Well, okay then. I'm not using my... I, I basically can't invite anyone then. Yeah. Hmm. Can't invite to court. Oh, I can't invite anyone. Oh, I'm alive again. It's amazing. Oh, good. You're not sick. Yeah, I can't any actually invite anyone. Yeah, it's pretty difficult to get to invite people, especially if you don't have high diplomacy, <laughs> which you don't. How do I how do I gain diplomacy? Um, um, you can use a focus probably to get better diplomacy. Uh, it's one of those things where you used to be able to use that as an ambition, but I think with the new focus oh, stuff... I guess that's carousing as well. Yeah, I think... Yeah, but I like my hunting. Oh, I have arrived near Hamburg. Nice. So you actually should be able to sail into that first section of river, since we're Vikings. And Wait, then... No, it, it, just, it just disembarked my dudes immediately. Sometimes it's hard to click on the, um, well, the thing. Well, too late now. Wait. Where are they going? Oh, to Hamburg. Okay. So no, now I'm he's... going to Dubai's now. Oh, there you are. Oh, you you were oh, on the I'm wrong on side. I'm on the wrong side of the. Okay, well that's yeah. fine. I can just get a head start. Well, you need to move your boats over, or else you won't get any of that loot. Yeah. And he's I... raising troops because I was raiding him, so he'll probably come after you next. 
but I am strong. Mm. Very strong. All right, I'm going to pause real quick just to read this. Uh, nope, never mind. It was the Nurky guy. I thought that they he was going to join our faction, but Nurky he just likes me. Uh, uh, how, are, how are we doing in Nurky? He likes me a little better now, but I don't know if there's any way to tell if he's ready to join he our... He likes me. Thing. 17. I'm going to invite him crowsing. Good, good idea. <laughs> maybe, that, maybe if I wine and dine him, he'll join us. I thought I was the gay one. <laughs> hey, crowsing's crowsing. I'll, I'll hunt you some ball. It's fine. Drinking doesn't have to lead to anything. But it could. Yeah. No, it probably couldn't. Okay, so I'm in this little river here. Uh, I also have it at speed one. Oh, he said he cannot join my merrymaking. I lost prestige. Well, I don't like him. Yeah. What's our liege doing? Should I start building a holding? I don't understand what that is. Building a holding? So... Oh, okay. Oh, wait, but... I can build stuff in the holding that I have. Well, I can't, because right. I'm poor. But if right. I had money, I could. You could actually build a holding as well. Like, apparently, some things have changed since I played last. A tribal holding costs prestige. Oh, yeah. But uh, I Temple can't Beaver. have two tribal holdings in the same province. Oh, do you already have them in yours? Yeah, I already have. You don't have tribal holdings? What do you have, then? Oh, I guess I do. Yeah, it won't let, you, it won't let you do yeah. the thing. I was thinking that it was something different than, like, my castle, but it's not. So, yeah. Never so mind. I wish there was a way we more actively could undermine the Yarl. Yeah, well, we could always plot to kill him. That's a bit unsubtle, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> kind of on the nose. I'm just really hoping someone's going to join our faction. I mean, we could always just try rebelling now, but... Would you like to go faster, by the way? I only have it on speed. Yeah, mode. Could, could go a little faster since I'm just standing around slowly losing men. Yeah, if you start, you shouldn't be losing anyone, I don't think. No, I've oh, lost like 16 people. Oh. Seems like you're not looting either. Did you mark your characters as looters? I don't think you did. Oh dear. I did. Yeah. I'm just kind of at war with him. The first time that I played as the Vikings, I did that all the time. Um, can I leave? Yeah, just hop in your boats, go back to your land, and talk them as looters again. Oh my god. I'm you idiot. might be able to do it from the boats, but I don't think so. I think you have to be in your own land. He's Marshal 12. Sail all the way back. Oh my god, that is going to take so long. And I don't have any more boats. Wait, I do have boats. No, I don't. It's a river. It's not a coastal. Yeah, I am so poor. Oh. Oh, right. Who would like to go carousing? I, I, like, I would like to go carousing. Want to go carousing again? Yeah. All right. Oh, <laughs> I can't because you're leading troops somewhere, I think. Oh, uh, I'm leading the people in my boats who are coming home so I can tell them, no, you're raiders. And they're like, oh, okay. And they're going to go back to where they were. Because that's how that goes. Wait, is this costing me money then? Man, he's not going to join me either. Yeah, anytime you have your boats and your troops up, it's going to cost you money. Oh my god. Can I do anything with him? I can send him a gift or arrange a betrothal. I don't want to pay him money. That's, that's another thing I want to do. I should have to have you know. Are you trying to get someone to like you again? We would like to appoint you to Marshal. There you go. The Yarl wants to appoint me to Marshal. Sure, you can appoint me to Marshal. Go ahead. Oh, wow. He is so weak right now. Yeah. Should I be doing stuff? Oh, but because I'm the Marshal, I can no longer lead my troops. Oh, yeah. Once you become Marshal, yeah. 
It's fine though. Do it, does this give me power in his court? Yeah, so if we schemed against him, you'd have you'd have a lot more plot chance. Oh, but that's only if we're trying to kill him. The old wound has finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind. Yay! That's good. Scar. So now your marshal just went up as well. I get prestige from that. Should I be helping the Yarl? Because he seems to be kind of under attack by the Finns. No. No? We're gonna let him rot? We want him as, to be as weak as possible, right? I guess so. Is it not time yet to oust him? Do you want to give it a try? We have like a thousand percent of our liege strength. Yeah, he, he got hurt pretty bad in this war. In fact, they're losing their war. Yeah, why don't you try it? Want to try it? Okay. Although I don't have my troops there, so maybe not yet. Oh, yeah, bring your troops home. Can I raid first? If you'd like to, sure. I need some monies. Are you using your marshal to train troops in your capital? Um, I don't have a marshal. Oh, you don't? Okay. Oh. Okay, now I'm raiding. Where are and you? now I have all the gold. That was really quick. Oh, you're in Hamburg? Yeah. Should I get some more gold from somewhere is, else? Oh, actually, uh, yeah. Yeah, if there's none there, there's no reason to stay there unless you're going to try to burn it down. But he's going to come attack you before you can do that. Okay, I'll, I'll rate the little Lunaberg thing south of him, and then I'll come back. Okay, just be careful because he's amassing troops. I can't tell. Oh, wow, that's a lot right next to you. Are they hostile to you? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, they're oh, going to come. Coming. Run away, uh, run away. Run away, run away. <laughs> no, yeah. go into the ships. Into, go the, into ships. the ships. Yeah. Oh, dear. They got yeah, me. Click, click away towards the ships again as quickly as you can, I think. And you're dead. <laughs> okay, that went well. Yeah, you got to be careful when raiding. Kind of jump in and jump out, especially when you see troops start to move around. That means they're gathering them together to come kill you. Maybe we shouldn't have been that quite that high speed. So yeah, I've got nothing from that. Because everyone's dead. Well, you still have whatever's in your boat. So if you take your boat home, you'll still get money and prestige. Okay, hopefully. And you actually still have 505 pe uh, levies you can raise. I'm going to appoint a marshal. Probably a good idea. This guy is chaste, temperate, and patient. Well, the other guy uh, revolted. Wait, who the, who the what now? Okay, let's pause this real quick. So, the guy who wanted lower uh, tribal law revolted against our liege. Oh, good job. So now we're getting a call to arms. Oh, From crap. The Planning would cost us 300 prestige. Before we answer this, we might want to declare our own war. Yeah. If it'll let us. We might still lose that prestige, though, which would be horrible. So don't, don't click on that yet in either way. And I just sent him our demand of independence. And we'll see what happens. Oh, wow. He released us. We, he released us. We have become independent. <laughs> because he is super, super weak. We were like, nope, dude. Oh, do I have to resign my thingy now? It probably automatically did. I think it did, yeah. Yep. All right. Well, that's that worked out fine. Yeah. So what kingdom are we now? We now we're our own, our own little people. And if we want to, we can attack our neighbors and eat up their land. Can we become one people? Or uh, do, in we order, do you have to die first? In order to become one people, yeah, we'll either have to die or uh, your heir or something will have to like save and reload and I would play as someone within your dynasty. But since right now all you have is a 
two-year-old daughter, I wouldn't be able to choose that. You'd yeah. ha it'd have to be someone who is. I could make a title. Yeah. How do I do that? So if you want to take the, and I well, actually, you don't need to take it quite yet. But if you did want to become, actually, that would probably help because do we have any Cassus Bell against our neighbors? We do. What is that Cassus Bell? So the Cassus Belli is basically the um, your right to wage war against someone. So every every one of us, every kind of landowner in Sweden, in this religion slash culture, is allowed to subjugate another ruler once in their lifetime. So you get a free attack anyone card, basically. Okay. However... If you take the ambition to become queen of Sweden, or if I take it to become king of Sweden, then you have unlimited subjugation, Cassus Belli, for anything within the de jure land of Sweden. I So basically you can attack anybody within okay. Sweden. Oh, like that. So does the Yol, is he able to attack us? Uh, he could. We could also just turn around and attack him right now and try to take his land as well. Which would be Since bad for him. Let's just yeah. do that, actually. Why, why don't we do that? That would so, be kind of, but he did just set us free, and it would probably impact the view of us. Yeah, perhaps maybe we should go for some of our neighbors first. So, like, you could go for uh, Vermanland right next to you, because he's independent. Will this give me money or cost me money? Um, it'll cost money to have your troops up and attacking him, but you'll also be getting money as you siege him and uh, take his stuff. Okay. So he actually, all of his troops are gone. I have no idea where they are. He is fighting. Um, he is trying to subjugate Vestergotland. So are you okay. going to, um, am I going to do that? Do I have to declare first? Yeah, so what you do is you would right click on him and, and go to declare, declare war. And you click on subjugation of, and it'll show you when you mouse over it basically what it means. Yeah, I get that one thing. I, if we win, I gain piety. The other thing you could do. But I want monies. You'll you'll get some money when you burn his stuff down. So if you look at um, his holding here, he okay. has nine loot or five loot. I don't uh -huh. know which. One's right. You get that when you burn down his deal. So what's the other thing I can do? Uh, the other thing, you could use your subjugation on um, another ruler. It doesn't have to be within Sweden. Um, but unfortunately, the guys around us are pretty powerful. I'll just get this guy. That'll give me more territory and thus more troops. Yeah. It's that not a bad idea. Like or you could go idea. to the guy that just uh, attacked the liege. Uh, I'll get this guy because he only has like a garrison left. All right, sounds good. Okay. Hang on, let me levy my troops before you unpause. So I'm going to levy my troops. Well, you have to declare war before you raise your levies. I did. Oh, okay. I need to make you special interest, actually. What does that mean? So if you right-click on my portrait um, and you click on the star, there's three icons on the top. That makes me special interest. It'll put me on the, the right side... Um, kind of thing. You can click on me quickly, but it also should tell me when you do anything of importance. Like, declare war, probably. Wait, where's the star? If you right-click on my portrait, yeah, there's three icons on the top oh, of that okay. map that yeah. opens up. It's the Total special interest. Got it. Cool. Are you ready? Yep. Alright. Speed Sorry. 1 or speed 2? Oh, I got some gold. Gold and so happy. Speed, speed 1, please. Actually, okay. speed two until I say otherwise. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. I believe you might be able to change it as well, so feel free to pause or change speed anytime you want. I apparently cannot. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, he's raised levies. He has 362. I have, like, over 500 once I merge my dudes. Okay. Just make sure you have uh, commanders, you know, people leading each part of your army. Yeah. You probably have two flanks, I'm guessing. Um, I don't know what that means. Uh, you probably have uh, a center army and an army like off to the left or something. You probably have two oh, armies right. together. Yeah. So just make sure someone's in charge of both of those flanks. I am going to merge these if I can find a button. How do you merge? 
Um, if you have them both selected in the same province, there is a kind of um, near where like embark on it. the boats was. Yeah. And um, now I'm going to attack. Yeah. She would make a better. And I'm probably going to attack the guy to my south, making. And once. Um... That's going to be close. Yeah, if you can turn down to speed, that would be nice. Okay. You could also call me into your war because yeah, we're out. It, it told me that I can call in allies, but um, I think I'd be fine. Yeah, I think you are too. I might actually need your help for this guy, though. <laughs> he potentially has more troops than I do. It's really close. Well, actually, I got a little bit more than him. Wait, why is there... I see two dudes there. Oh, okay, because one is mine. That's fine. I'm going to declare my war, and if I need help, I might call you into mine. I don't know what is going on. Okay, so I killed his dudes. Now Good. do I attack the garrison, or do I starve it out first? It looks like you're sieging right now, right? So just stay there, because that's his only province. And as soon as you burn that down, you should get him to 100%. Or you can chase his guys if they're still not, if they're not all dead. You can just kill all of his dudes as well. Yeah, I killed all of them. They're okay. all dead. Well, if all of his guys are dead, he'll I probably... I think he might have called in allies who are now standing here. Um, let's see. Nope, those were not allies. It looks like it's just him and you. Okay. So how long does this take? That's what I need. Um, I need to just... take away his morale, I guess. Yeah, basically when that... When the... Um... Bar gets all the way to zero. Cool. He only has he only has one holding anyways. So once you get through this holding, that should be it. I am doing so well. And I need... If I raise my army... There's me, and there's this guy. I need a better commander. Oh, I can't see into your countries anymore. Oh, that's true. That's weird, even though we're... If we're both allies in the same war, it would show us um, each other. If, if my, my diplomatic dudes are in a, in a country that is being attacked, is that bad? No. They're not going to get caught in a crossfire and killed? Nope. Good. I think once I have this... Um... That's right, that's right. This province, that will be about time for the episode. Sounds good. Now, I'm going to try to find another concubine before I start my war. Because I'm concerned that I don't have any... Yeah, you need to have hair. kids. Like, yeah. not with me. It's not that I don't like you, but... Right, right. You know. My religion, my culture, an adult... And let's see how fancy I can get any genius girls out there. Nope. Yeah, shouldn't that be an advantage if you if you're looking for an extramarital affair that you can pick better people because they have lower standards, as it were. No offense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll take that concubine. I have a victory. Now nice. what do I do? I click on the thing, and yeah, I get peace? If it's at 100%, he has to accept. Um, then it's not a white piece, right? No. It's enforced demands. Enforced demands, correct. Send. Congratulations! Woohoo! I have grown my territory. Now I need to d disband these. I don't know why. That's how. I can just disband them there, right? Right. And actually... That didn't make me any money, though. Well, you, you got some when you took his holding. I'll if get you some got money per turn now as well. In theory. Okay, my guy's actually off raiding right now. So, all of his troops are gone. I'm going to declare war very quickly on him. Wait, are there raiders in my country? There are raiders in my country. How dare you? You want to kill those. 
How do I kill them? I raise my levies. They're in the same province. Are they just moving through or something? Oh, yeah. They'll, they'll be red if they're hostile to you. Oh, okay. You can't click on enemy troops, can you? Uh, no, you can hover over them and see how many are there plus what they're made up of. It says like 183 slash 611. Yeah, so that's like how big the army is, is the bigger number, and then the number to the left is how many are in the army. So like, ah, it's okay. something that, well, whatever. They've, they've left now, so that's fine. And it should also tell you like what the troops are. So it'll say uh, like... Li for light infantry, Hi for heavy infantry, uh, infantry A for archers. Oh, I got oh, raided. Some I, yeah, he's walking through, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, I'm going to do some raiding. I think. So That's hopefully, cool. my war should go very quickly, as well. One one fifty seven is that enough? No, that is not enough. Judging by those people there, <laughs> there's like yep. a, an army of two and a half thousand people. Wow, that's a lot. They're going to Naumadal. I don't know what, where that is. Apparently, that's like north of Norway or something. So one thing you can do if you have a marshal is you can use him to organize a raid. And basically, they'll bring people under your banner, just kind of peasants and stuff or whatever, Vikings. Uh -huh. to, it'll basically it'll make up event troops that oh, you can yeah. use to go raiding with. But you need to use them very, very, very quickly or else they'll basically take your money and disappear. Hmm. Should I have my marshal train troops? Uh, yeah, if you're, if you're low on troops, like if a lot of yours have died, which they probably have, uh, it's, it's usually a good idea. It'll... It'll reinforce them much quicker. And there we go. I just finished my war. Enforce demands. There we go. So we both have vassals now, and they probably don't like us at all because we took land from them. Oh, so that's something we're definitely we, going to have to deal with. How do we check that? Let's see, I'm going to pause the game real quick because we're actually probably near the end of the episode as well. I don't have any vassals. Uh, so if you click on Vermenland, you do not have any. Where did he go? I don't know. Huh. This all well, the guy, to me now. Yeah, the guy I took over, he might have been a higher uh, level character. He might have... Did I just kill him or something? I don't know. That's interesting. So he he's definitely my vassal now. Um, my guy. So I need to make sure that I improve his opinion of me as quickly as possible. I have fact, no such issues. That's good. In fact, my counselors are starting to really like me. Oh, I don't need my guy uh, scheming anymore. Oh, he's not. He's leading troops. Is he leading troops? My guy is also not scheming anymore. I don't know why he's no longer scheming. Oh, I don't need him to scheme, actually. So you can use him to scheme in your own capital to help... Um, Make sure people aren't plotting against you, especially since you have a lot of people who don't like you. Yeah. Uh, or you can use them to study technology, which is pretty much the only way to get technology at this point in the game for us. Oh, maybe not. Actually, I'm getting a little technology. Interesting. I'm not. How, would, how do you tell? If you click on your technology tab, which would be shortcut F5. Yeah, I'm getting plus, plus zero and everything. Oh, okay. I'm getting plus 0.87 like that in each. I wonder why I'm oh, getting... Oh, I assigned him to, to scheme, so I can't assign him to do technology now. I'm the Jarl, because I have a full duchy. Are you not? I'm a high chiefess. You might be able to create... A title. A title, yeah. One title can be created. The Duchy there you of Burslagen. Yeah, so you're going to need probably... I don't have enough anything for that. What do you need to create that? It's like uh, 186 gold or something. Okay. Uh, how, do you need prestige or? It would it would 
Give me prestige and cost me gold. Okay, so it costs 180.8 gold. That's it, huh? Okay, well, all you need to do is some more raiding. And if I necessary, have a I, can, 18 gold. I can help get you over. Oh, anyway, yeah, you <laughs> the dishwasher has just turned on, so I think it's time to wrap up. <laughs> all right, sounds good. And we're at 30 minutes anyway, so very good. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, once again, I'd let us know what you think of the series. Um, might be a little bit of a slow start, but I think we'll have some some fun stuff that we'll get going here. And we are independent already in episode two, which I was not yeah, expecting. Yeah, that was surprising. So, uh, thanks again to Nico for joining me in this game. Be sure to check out her channel as well. You can see her viewpoint with these videos, or check out uh, what she's doing and uh, otherwise. And obviously check out Everyone Loves Pirates, especially if you want to know how to actually play this game as opposed to <laughs> what I'm doing. Yeah, I do have an old um, kind of tutorial for the game, which is basically still good, but it's not going to really have taken into account any of the new DLC or anything like that. But might be worth a look if you have no idea what we're doing at all here. So yeah, thanks for watching, folks, and we will see you later in the next episode. Bye-bye.